All right, what's up guys, and welcome to our first video on EAFC 24. It's gonna be the start of our year-long career mode save, and I already picked out the perfect team. We're gonna go ahead and use Colchester United. I mean, I just really like the logo. The jerseys are pretty cool this season, so I mean, it's the perfect choice, really. We're gonna bump the difficulty up to legendary. We're not gonna change any of this, and then we're gonna advance. I don't think you guys are gonna be too surprised who the manager is, but it's a really good choice. And here he is, our manager, Stanley Hale. He looks somewhat accurate. I I couldn't remember what hair style he had, so I just gave him that. All right, and here's a big part to start off the career mode. Do we get anybody special in the youth academy? We got a couple of decent players, like, straight on. We got two decent goalkeepers. This one's not very good, but we got two decent goalkeepers. This dude, who looks like a decent center mid. And then Yosef Tanner looks like a very good winger with finesse shot trait. We're going to sign up him automatically him automatically and i think we're gonna take lozano for just a higher potential we signed up three players we still have four more players we can sign up so that's seven so we only need four players from our first scouting report to fill a whole 11. all right we're gonna have to clear our youth staff and get three new scouts we're gonna get a two stars two star elijah slater and then a two star two star croatian dude and the last one's gonna be a two star three star french dude we're gonna just do england any straight up because we want any one of the ones i really found out i'm gonna change these two countries so it doesn't matter which one it is something i really like is physically strong sentiments it gets you the well-rounded but with super high pace and super high physicality very good players and then we're gonna go defensive minded center backs just so we can get hopefully tall center backs um so you guys might notice that i'm streaming right now I'm going to be streaming most of the episodes, hopefully, and then I'm going to edit them down into a normal video form. I just feel like it'd be more fun that way. All right, so as you can see, we got them edited. We're going to scout Brazil and San Marino for the two other ones. I know I could just scout Brazil, but in the chat, someone put Brazil, so I decided to go with Brazil. So here we are. So here we are for the first monthly scouting reports we got. And in San Marino, we got this dude looks like he could be a competent center back. In Brazil, we got Edson de Souza. Let's sign him up. And in England, we got Ethan Butler and Albert Cooper. Not the single greatest players we could have got. All right, so we can feel the whole starting 11. That's all that matters. All right, so this is what our team's going to look like for our very first game with Colchester. We only have one player on the bench, and it's Bennett because we have two goalkeepers, so they both can't start. And the starting 11 is looking like Medina at right back with Berg, Gallo, and De Sosa at center backs. And Grigora at left back because nobody else can even defend here. The midfield is not looking too hot, but the player I have a lot of hope in in the offense is Balogun or Balagoon. But he just is fast and maybe he can just break through the defensive line. So let's just go look back at the Youth Academy and then we can play our first match. All right, so I'm gonna get scouting reports a little bit earlier just to, you know, keep it more entertaining. So after the second game, we're gonna be scouting England, Burundi, and Belgium. And if you wanna see me scout anywhere, put it in the comments below or be here in, during when I'm live and put it in the chat. But yeah, now let's get into our first match. And here we are for kickoff of our first game with Colchester United. We're on legendary difficulty, so it should be challenging. If we go on and just win the first game, I don't know, we might have to go up to ultimate. I don't think we will, though, because legendary is pretty hard this year. Because in a series like this where you're using like 40 overalls, you don't want to be winning your first game. Because if you do... The rest of the series is going to be too easy. So you want to find the balance where you kind of suck. You can just get better, you know? And then eventually, you can um, win. And De Souza plays a wide. Plays it in. Tanner. Butler. Cooper. Owl again. Oh my god. Within six minutes, Balogun smacks a shot into that top right corner off the... It looked like post. And we go ahead and take that early lead. I'm not going to lie. This might be the earliest I've ever scored in a Youth Academy career mode. I don't think it's ever taken me more than one game. But I also don't think I've ever scored in the first half. So we are cooking right now. I am scared though because I have a feeling that Wimbledon can score on literally any attack. Like that wasn't even a good angle and he still got a pretty decent strike off. That's a great strike. And they somehow miss. Like when I start other career modes, it feels like they make everything. We're just getting let off the hook by this Wimbledon team, it seems like. Butler with a strike. Ooh, that strike was pretty awful, I'm not going to lie. You're losing to a team with a couple of 40 overall starting and just going to play around the back. 
Oh, Colchester is breaking right through the middle. And they miss another easy chance. Oh, you know what? That wasn't the worst chance by Cooper. Reeves breaking in field, passes to Little, and Little finds himself open. They miss another opportunity. That's great play. I mean, yeah, that was great play. Little grabs the goal, and we are all squared at one to one. Oh, Cooper, he just broke through. And the keeper pushes it wide. Cross it again. What is Burge doing? Instead of going for a normal header, he decides he's going to go for a spin header. You know what? I'm not even going to question that. Burge is doing something. And Tanner is going to take this free kick. Right into the wall. Bangs it. That's a good strike. If he can hold a tie, this will... What? <gasps> There's no way he saved that. That might be one of the single greatest saves I've ever seen. And it happens to come from a 54 overall goalkeeper in his first professional match. He's about to shoot. The keeper's coming out. Pulls it back. Sweats it across to the dude who, if he aims to the right, he's just an easy finish. And then hits it. That save is insane. There's no way he should be saving that. I think that's going to be their last chance, which means if there's going to be a winner, it's probably going to be scored by us. You know what? Hit that. It squeaks in. Lundberg, with a minute to go in our first game, snatches the win. There is no way he should ever be scoring that. But it doesn't matter because he does. And Colchester picks up the big three points from a game they, quite honestly, were getting dominated in. Yet he shoots it, keeper saves it, pushes it right back off of the defender, back onto the um, guy who shot it again, into the net. That is something like scripting right there. I'm not going to lie. I think Wimbledon deserved all three from this game, but we just won, I guess. Let's just beat the stats because this look it's going to be bad. We kind of played similar. It's just they had more expected goals. All right, so we did amazing last game, somehow squeaking out a win on legendary difficulty, but it might just be first game luck. So we're going to run the same exact team. Zero changes to the starting 11 because I feel like we did very good with this starting 11. So zero changes. And we're going to get right into the next game and try to keep up this form. All right, and so here we are for the match against Alcmes and Stanley, trying to build off a promising start winning one to uh, two to one. You never know. Maybe Alcmes and Stanley is just going to come and humble us right away. What's well, a beautiful cross. And that's a good header, but it's just wide. What's well, a great cross. Good header as well by Balogun, but just wide. Beautiful tackle. And they're in. Mick Connellville grabs the goal. And we are down 1-0 to zero very quickly. We got Cooper. Cooper just ran through their defense. Tries to slot it home. But Savin saves it. Damn, damn, damn. They're in. And they score. It's the same man again. Yes, it is. And we're down 2-0 to Accrington Stanley. And honestly... I'm not even that mad. I feel like our defense is holding up much better than it should be still. Butler have a crack. Butler does have a crack, and he cracks the outside of that post. Balloon gun. Oh, that's a good save. Falls right to Cooper, though. We'll get that ball. All right, he wants to celebrate. I don't really care. You can celebrate, Cooper. Because Cooper grabs his first goal for Colchester in his second game. I mean, it was a good play. Balogun gets in. Save. It's kind of iffy because it falls right in front of the goal. And all Cooper has to do is tap it in on that empty net. And now we're only one behind them. But that gives us like three minutes and probably some change with extra time to grab this equalizer. Balogun in again. Balogun drags it like four feet wide of that post. Oh, beautiful. Lundenberg. That's a great save. Play it back. Oh, Lunenberg had the chance to equalize with no time remaining. And this time he couldn't finish it off. It's a shame. We end up losing 2-1, to one, but I mean, 
it's cool to get humbled. If we just won every game to start off with, I don't think it'd be a very fair series. So, you know what? I'm fine with the loss. But now we got more monthly scouting reports. Let's go look at the right there. That's the new scouting reports where it should be. Yep. Got three more. For Dundee, we got it. None of these guys look too good, but that do I just said oop for might have a little pace on him. So we'll see. This guy has some decent stats, it looks like. Six foot seven. And he can play center back, it looks like. We gotta slide him up at least. And then England, right? That's a shame. It really should have been better. All right, so I know this guy has zero potential. It's only a 53 overall, but he's six foot seven. So we're going to sign him up, and he's going right into the first team. Along with this dude, who can, who's left-footed, so he can be our left back. And then I'm going to sign these two players up, Owusu and Owusu. All right, so we got a cup match. So I'm just going to simulate it because I could really care less. And I think I played kick on play highlights. So I'm going to do that. If something interesting happens, I'll show it. If it doesn't, we'll skip to the end. All right, so we end up losing the Swansea 2-1. to one, But they are a championship side, so losing 2-1 to one isn't that bad. I'm actually very happy with the boys. All right, so for our next game, we went ahead and put three new players in. Bennett, Keep, Leon, probably Leon, at right center back, and Jansen at left back. We also made a couple switches with Berg coming in at CDM, Grigora coming in at right center mid, and Butler coming at a striker, but mainly the spine of the team's the same. So if we can just perform how we've been performing, I think we can pick up another point in our next game. But it all depends on how Leon does, because he's six foot seven. He might be pretty bad. But he also might be the most dominant defender we ever had. So you never know until you try. Yeah, so here we are for the match against Sutton United. And after our last two matches, winning 2-1 to one and losing 2-1, to one, I'm very confident in against any team we play. They're playing right through us. Gallo wins the ball back, loses it right away. And Bennett, they just slide it right by him. And we are down 1-0 to zero pretty early. Oh, they're cooking me right now. That's... Yeah, now it's a good play. They get through the whole defense and just slide it by the keeper at his front post. I mean, nothing you can do there. He was left out to dry. So, so far, I don't know who's the better keeper, Bennett or Lozano, because neither of them have had, I mean, the cutoff from what I was saying there. Balagoon just scored a very nice goal to cut it back to one. So, let's just get back to half field and try to get another one now. Oh, but as I was saying, I don't know which keeper is better. And neither of them have been given the real chance to make quality saves. Like, yeah, that shot's kind of right at him, but he's showing something. Good save from Bennett. Just get back in time. Block the angles. I really thought our center back had the angles blocked there. Apparently he didn't, and Leon gets caught out for the first time this game, I would say, really. Yeah, we're losing 3-1. to one. We conceded 3. But I would say there has been positives from the defense. Like Leon, it looks like nothing's really getting by his side. Well, except for that shot, but can't we really blame him? Like, look, he gets the ball again. He gives it away, though. Eh, a, a lot to work on is all I gotta say, because, because, I mean, obviously this team's a work in progress, but the glares are becoming a little more obvious against Sutton right now. This is kind of the game I expected the first one to be, where, yeah, we're, I'm more even with the team. They're just scoring a ton against us. And maybe the team's just finally... Putting the foot on the gas now because we are down by four. Oh, they play right through us. That's just a splendid finish once again. I can't even blame Bennett for these goals. I don't want to believe the coincidence, but it's it's there. That's a crazy strike, but good save. Another good save from Bennett. Bennett is showing out this game. It's just the defense is kind of leaving him out to dry sometimes. Oh, that is stunning. But he strikes the ball right at the keeper. Oh, there he is. Balogun. In on goal. Smacks it. Top corner. There's a minute and a half. We're down by four. You can celebrate, Balogun. I really do not care. I mean, look at this. Balogun has like 47 finishing. But he's actually finishing off his chances quite well these games. I'm not saying Balogun's going to be our future striker. He's going to be up there a whole series. But he could do a job for a little bit because 
his finishing's not as bad as it says. There's a lot of positives to take out of this game. You know, like, there's one big negative. We lost by four. But there's a couple positives. I, I like what I'm seeing from, um, was it Leon? I just don't know if the is gonna stay because he's just not really cutting it right now. Also, we gotta change our CDM. Burge is abysmal there. He did nothing all game. That's gonna be in the next episode because we need a Youth Academy scout for that. And we're just not gonna get one until next episode. All right, so we're gonna run with a very rotated team right now. Because there's a couple players that are tired, like Jensen, Leon, and Grigor, who all did good last match. They're just tired, so I need to take them out. So Berg draws back to center back, and both the Wusus come in at um, the mid. Lundberg comes in at left wing back because we don't have anyone else that can play defense on the bench. So we're going to run it like this. All right, so here we are for our last match of the episode against Raleigh Town. It should be another hard match. I have no clue how we won that first match 2-1. to one. And we also have a lot of rotated players coming in. So, let's just see how we do. Up there in. And Lozano makes a crazy save to get down to that. Oh. Well, well, well. Within 11 minutes, we're down 1-0. to zero. Not looking that great. And they shoot again, they score again. I don't know why I'm surprised. This is what I expect from the beginning of a career mode. I'm just have a little high expectations because we won the first match somehow. Balogun in behind. We well, cuts his defender. Balogun finishes and we make it two to one. So Balogun really is carving out a name for himself on this team. <gasps> what a tackle! Lundberg. And then he gets by and shoots anyways, but it doesn't matter. So at halftime, I decided to do the courageous swap and put Cooper back in for Balogun. Because we need Balogun up top, but we also need him more next match. Because we got to preserve the fitness and let Cooper come in. Look at this dribbling. That is insane. And the finish wasn't that bad either. They're kind of cooking me on defense right now. On the cut in and blaze another shot across the front. I think we're just going to chalk it down to Lozano has the Van Dyke aura defense. I take it back. Lozano is abysmal. Now I'm playing, but it's just funny I was gassing him up and he gets scored on right away. <laughs> oh. It falls to him in the box again, and he makes it 4-1. to one. There's getting a lot more clear ch cut chances this game. Oh, that's beautiful. And they smash it into the roof of that net. And now it looks like we're down by four. Oh, it's a good cross. That's a good save from Lozano. And that's it do for the game. We end up losing to Crawley Town 5-1. to one, And it was kind of embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. But just like every game we get embarrassed in, there are a couple positives. In this game, it was literally just a striker battle again. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the episode. This is what the team is looking like. We'll be adding like player of the episodes and stuff. We'll just be, I'll be deciding on them. Maybe someone can comment on them and we can have a discussion about it. But I feel like for this episode, it's really between two players, Balogun and Gallo. So here's the thing. I wanted to give like a plus one potential, maybe a plus one to one attribute. I'll do plus one potential to Balogun. And then for Gallo, for his first man of the match, the first one of the series, he gets the captain's armband. I just feel like he deserves it. This episode live, just subscribe to my channel, and you might catch me live one time over the weekend usually. And now, we'll catch you later. Peace.